Hey there and welcome back. In this Resolume Arena tutorial we'll dive into masking layers. I'll teach you how they work, how to set them up and show you some practical examples. Note that I'm using Resolume Arena, but all techniques shown work in Resolume Avenue too. So let's get started. Masking layers allow you to use the brightness values of one layer to control the visibility of the layers beneath it. Black values will hide content, while white and grey values reveal, as can be seen in this example. Alpha transparency is treated as black, which we can see in this second example. To turn a layer into a masking layer, right click the layer's name and select mask mode. Here we can select whether we want to mask the layer below the masking layer or mask all layers below. For this tutorial I will work with one below. Once a layer is in mask mode, all thumbnails will turn grey. The layer will be excluded from the crossfader and show a transparency checkerboard where the crossfader AB controls used to be. Now that you know how to set up masking layers, let's have a look at some examples. In this example I am creating a BPM synced fade using a solid source on layer 3. I'm setting the solid to white. I update the thumbnail with the command shift T shortcut. Animate the opacity with the BPM and set the duration to 8 beats. Add an envelope and modify it so that we spend 2 beats on the first and 2 beats on the second clip, with the remaining beats functioning as transition time. In this second example I have synchronized the X and Y positions of the mask to the BPM, jumping to a different corner on each beat. While this looks fun by itself, we can add mirroring effects to create different patterns while staying on the beat. Besides making our own masks, we can also use footage for masking. Here I am using some footage from the legendary VJ Survival Kit by Lark, but don't forget that a lot of built-in Resolume sources can be used as masks. Shaper, Meta Balls and Linescape are all valid targets for some masking goodness. And with that final example I'm wrapping up this tutorial. If you have any questions drop them in the comments below and I will see you in the future.